Hello and welcome back to Civil Field Trainers. My name is Shadab. In this class, we'll be discussing about the limitations and uh, basically pros and cons of RCDC. What this software can do for you in terms of detailing is what we'll be looking into. All right. So this here I have a representation of uh, the footings. So if I just go for different different footings, you can see it gets highlighted by a red mark, and you can see the kind of reinforcements they're gonna get. Okay, bottom and top mesh and everything. You can get all this information from here. All right. The same thing can be said true for columns also. If I just zoom in on the any uh, column over here like this, you can see the kind of uh, ties they will have, and this is basically sure wall. Well, this is basically a normal column. So you will get detailing like this by using RCDC. But a lot of people don't know what RCDC can actually do for you. So this introduction class where we discuss about its pros and cons basically is for them. And the class you're about to watch now is actually a part of our course, ETAS plus C plus RCDC. So if you see here, right now the course price is 1,409. But if you apply the coupon code which expires in three days, the cost price will decrease to 1,099 rupees. And for this price point, you will get ETAPS, SAFE, RCDC, and you will get SAP 2000. This we separately sell for 500 rupees, but we have added uh, into the mix. And uh, basically, what happens is ETAPS and SAFE, we can do the analysis and design part. Okay, for superstructure ETAPS, for substructure SAFE. Okay, you will do the analysis and design. But what software will you use for doing the detailing part? You can go for AutoCAD, but AutoCAD will take too much time. Okay, so that's where RCDC comes into the picture. So column beam layout is where we start. Okay, and at the end, we end with uh, the detailing part. Here, if you see, column beam slab, everything is there. And one more very important point is, ki as and when I keep making addi uh, additional attachments, you know, and you upload to the course, the base price will keep on increasing. So instead of being 1049, 499, it will be more than that. It will be 1699 based on how much amount of content we keep on updating. So if you want to uh, make a purchase, right now is the time. All right. Now coming back to the topic at hand, we have basically got our what? RCDC. And without any further ado, let's get started. We'll take it to the basics and we'll get from there. So what can you expect from RCDC? The first thing that RCDC can do for you is it can generate uh, drawings, right? It can generate AutoCAD drawings of what? Of beam column, slab, footing and uh, if you see here there are a couple more options we have got even pile footing and uh, in, in RCDC connect version we can even do a uh, water tank structure as well uh, footing we have got uh, staircase okay and we have got shear walls alright so it can do so much uh, for you uh, basically all these drawings beam, column, slab, footing, staircase and shear walls for them what you can get you can get their plan views okay you can get their plan views, how they look in the plan. Then you can get sectional and elevation views. Okay, section elevation views you can get. You can get a bill of quantities. Once you have given all the data uh, into the RCD software, it will know how much amount of concrete is there, how much amount of steel will be required. So by using that data, it can create a bill of quantities for you. And it can also generate a bar bending schedule for you. Okay, one thing to notice BOP and BBS will not be 100% accurate uh, as per the site conditions. So you have to manipulate those these two readings as well. But what can give you is a basic idea of how much amount it uh, is going to cost you to construct a given uh, particular member, maybe a column, maybe a beam or the entire slab portion. Okay, so AutoCAD drawings, what we can do? We can do beam, column, slab, footing, staircase and shear walls. Along with that, we have got a uh, pile cap also and water tank structure as well. Uh, in uh, for all these drawings, you can get plan views, section elevation views, VOQ and BBS. It's uh, it, it is like the other end of the uh, spectrum. Uh, on one side, we have got static on ETAPs that can actually do the entire design portion and give you the steel values. And uh, on the other side, we have got RCD software by, by using which you can gen you can translate all this information, uh, you know, 640, whatever it is given here, you can tra translate all this information into what into drawings. Okay, so this is what RCDC can do for you. you. Can create all these drawings for you. Nothing more than this. Okay, this are this is the uh, uh, what the software is capable of. Now, now let's discuss about its limitations as well. So, what can RCDC not do for you? Cannot do for you. First is it cannot generate. Okay, hundred percent accurate submission drawings. Okay, on the most part, this is not the software's uh, uh, problem because uh, the conditions for submission of a drawing, uh, it varies from city to city, especially in India. Uh, from city to city, we have uh, separate uh, bylaws that we have to follow when submission of a drawing uh, is to be undertaken. Uh, right from the font size to line thickness, everything has to be in a particular format for us to submit it. That cannot be done in your RCDC. RCDC can get you the drawings, but the manipulation should be done by you. So what can you get? You can, you can get 80 to 85 percent of the drawing 
okay the rest has to be manipulated by you all right it is very easy you can easily go get into autocad if you have any basic knowledge of autocad you can easily change the line type you can easily change the fonts and everything and your work will be more or less done okay the second thing uh, the second uh, limitation is that the results generally don't match okay the results uh, between e tabs and rcdc don't match now i'll explain this in depth why is this so and how we can circumvent this problem i'll give a proper detailed explanation later on uh, so to combat this the result is not matching to combat this problem what you can do is uh, you can redesign the structure inside rcdc okay this is one more plus point that we have here let me just mention over here the sixth point is uh, okay redesign the structure member structural member more or less okay member inside rc dc okay it gives you it gives you a basic free hand for example if you are if you are getting 16 or 4 bars and you want to convert them in 20 or 4 bars i'll show you how you can do that if you, are, if you have a triangle shaped ties and you want to convert them into a rectangular shaped ties you can definitely do that as well all this uh, when it comes to drawings uh, you can easily manipulate everything inside rcdc as well okay so i'll be showing you how to redesign the structural members inside rcdc and the next thing that rcdc does is it can uh, it can group uh, columns beams and footings for you it also helps us to create a proper BOP and bbs for uh, you know bringing in the materials as well okay i explain everything what is how do you can group the columns how do you can group the beams and footings and everything beams is automatically done by the rcdc software we don't have to go for any other options but as columns and footings they have given us the option to group them and i'll show you how we can do it okay so basically this is what we can expect from rcdc you can get the drawings for beam column and everything here uh, uh, along with this you can get the plan views section views boq bbs and you can even reason the structure because why because the results don't match between e tabs and rcdc okay so 80 to 85 percent of the accurate drawings you can estimate uh, expect from the rcdc rest you can manipulate on your own all right so uh, with this with this being said let's get started so let me just draw a line over here so the first thing that you have to do in any project uh, uh, you know for it to start is basically uh, you have to uh, export the data from e tabs to rcdc how to export the data from e tabs to rcdc now even here you have got two things to take care of if you have e tabs 16 version right first you have uh, e tabs 2016 and lower version you don't have to worry okay what you can do is you can easily create mdb files you can see here dot mdb extension you will get you can easily uh, create those files and you can import them in rcdc 8 version okay e tabs 16 and lower uh, what extension you're going to use you're going to use extension of dot mdb okay directly you can import them into your rcdc 8 version okay generally most of the people that i have seen that i have worked with they already they all use rcdc 8 version okay hardly anyone uses rcdc connect version but rcdc connect version is required uh, if you want to import rcdc 2017 and above okay you require rcdc connect version not 8 version because why because rcdc to some uh, connect version allows you to import dot ac c bd version okay the extension for this is going to be dot a c c and b d so for this 2017 you require rcdc connect version okay so let me explain what basically happens here so if you go for file if you go for export and if you go for a tables to access okay i'm just uh, Okay, let me just go here, minimize this and minimize this as well. So all of them are selected. Let's click on OK. Uh, let me make it to meters. Let me make it to Newton and let me make it to Celsius because this is what uh, we use. Let's click on OK. It will take some time. But if you see here, when it, come, when it comes to save as type, what extension are you getting? Dot ACCBD. Okay, if you are in 2016 version and lower, you won't get this extension. You will get what extension? You will get the extension of dot mdb file okay this mdb file you will be able to easily import into your rcdc 8 version okay if you have 2017 18 19 you don't get dot mdb you get dot accbd for which you need rcdc connect version only okay for you rcdc 8 version will not work 
if you have 16 version well and good if you have higher version you would ask to see connect version all right so after coming to this place i'll show you how you can export the data from here and how you can import the data okay so in the next class i'll cover everything that you have to do to uh, export the file from etabs because you cannot directly just export it you need to run the analysis and check if everything is fine or not only then you will be able to export the data if you don't do it you will get an error also we will talk about that as well okay so see you guys in the next class thank you